What do you like with conflict? Do you avoid conflict? Do you bring up issues, concerns and worries or do you keep it inside? So podcast 77 is being able to love after conflict. All relationships, if they are healthy and functioning, are going to have conflict. But it's how you do it. If you both act out, become aggressive, or if one of you goes into, uh, say, the fight mode and one of you goes into freeze, that isn't going to support you with conflict. So in this podcast, podcast 77 on the Empowered Marriage Podcast, I talk about how you do conflict. So you may do it passively. Uh, Passively is you don't actually bring it up. You keep it inside. Uh, You may have this inner, inner resentment. You may have learned how to do it when you were little because it wasn't safe for you to be able to Uh, say very freely what you were thinking, what you're feeling. You may also be aggressive. That's another way that people do conflict, is that you become a bit like a uh, boiling kettle very quickly, very aggressively. Very hard if you're on the receiving end of that because you'll be wary as to bringing up hot potato topics uh, because you'll be nervous of the reaction that your partner is going to have. Some people are passive aggressive. It's a bit manipulative. There's a little bit of passiveness, a little bit of sort of a story, a bit like Hansel and Gretel with the little breadcrumbs and and then you come in with the big one. So that isn't um, supportive of conflict either. What needs to happen, which we all know, uh, is to be assertive and easier said than done because we we have patterns, we have conditioning, and we can get triggered really easily. So if you want love after conflict, or you're not very good at conflict, listen to podcast uh, 77, and you may get some little tips on, on this subject that may support you. Anyway, have a great day.